Everything okay? Stop fighting, put in some work, get into university, or be a sad loser. Like your dad. Poor old Mary's got a new neighbour from hell. How difficult is it to get a film made like this? Because it's not a big budget, really, is it? No, I mean, that's kind of the thing with, with indie films, no matter how good the script is or, or the actors are. A lot of what they've done is really just by, by hard work and trying to get the right people on board um, and the right people to back it. Filming in South London, people seeing Luke Perry walking around, was it quite difficult to keep the film under wraps or was everybody trying to take pictures all the time? Yeah, especially when we, we were filming on, uh, on Northcote Road, a lot of, um, a lot of people from his, that kind of generation kept sort of spying him. I mean, he, he kind of had you know, his, his makeover with his, his sunglasses mm -hmm. and um, the, the shaggy beard and, and the hat, but um, you know, he's such a, a big icon that, that people still could recognize him underneath it. <laughs> What the hell do you want? Teach me! The blue one. You teach me and you get to live your secret life in peace. The red one. I'll tell everyone that you're not dead. Think about it. I think it has a lot of elements which are... Um, which a, the, a wide audience can, can identify with. It, it's, it is a coming-of-age film, and um, at its core it has a lot of elements that that people have seen before, but without being cliched in any way. Coming of age is a very popular genre. I mean, especially, obviously, we've had the, the teen movies of the 80s and 90s and the noughties, but now we've got things like Boyhood yeah. for Richard Linklater. Do you think there's a bit of a hunger for this, this coming of age? I think, at the end of the day, people really just like a feel-good film, and these coming of age films really, I think, possess all the qualities that just make people happy, and I think that's such an important element, especially in this film, um, whether it's the music or, you know, the comedy. Um, there are some dark bits in it as well, but um, there's a sort of enlightenment, I think, at the end, which really kind of has captured, captivated people. Um, and obviously, with the film getting a general release, you're going to have to see the posters on the tube, on the buses, and all that around London. Are you ready for that yet? Is that going to be slightly surreal for you? I still find it really uncomfortable looking at my face so big on a screen, so um, I'm not entirely sure I'm, I'm ready for that yet, but um, I just probably close my eyes, I guess. <laughs>